Right now at 4, Bristol police are knocking on doors, asking people to look back through their security footage, all in the hopes of catching the person who they say drew racist graffiti in the city. Thanks for joining us for Eyewitness News at 4 for the afternoon rush. All the big news and weather you need to know to get caught up on your day. I'm Kara Sundland. First up, we're looking into that disturbing graffiti as police investigate right now. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo is joining us live from Rockwell Park, where one of these messages was found. Audrey? Kara, that's right. Police say that somebody wrote a racial slur in chalk near the skate area of this park. It's just over my shoulder here, and it's very close to the playground where young children play. Now, police tell us that this was found over the weekend. They were able to get it cleaned up within 12 hours, but it's one of three racist graffiti instances to happen in the city within the last three days. Now, the other two, those were spray-painted swastikas that were found in another part of the city. There was a spray painted swastika found on a stop sign at the intersection of Shag Park and Deer Park Roads. And there was another swastika found spray painted on what used to be a no smoking sign near the Northeast Middle School. This is relatively close in, in proximity to each other. Now, again, those were cleaned up as well. The city employees made quick work of taking those symbols down, but Still, they're unsettling discoveries for those who live, work, and play near where this graffiti was found. This is a fun place. It should be a fun place, a place of safety. But given the fact that they're doing this, now it makes me second guess coming here because what are they going to do next? And these discoveries were found just weeks after an incident here in the city of Bristol where a group of people were reportedly holding up a sign that said, keep CT white. Now, town and city officials are responding to this most recent incident of graffiti here in the city. We'll have more on what they have to say coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock. Live in Bristol, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.